Hi, I'm Harindrithi Gupta, a BTEC third year undergraduate student from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at IIT Patna. In this video, I'll walk you through one of my projects that I've made for the databases course CS354. It's called Online Leaf Management System, which simplifies the entire process of leaf management and also reduces paperwork. So let's get started. As you can see, this is the uh, login page, which is the home page of the project. And um, first of all, I would like to clarify a few things. We have two types of accounts. One is the student account and the other is the authority account. So we have two kinds of authorities. One is the faculty advisor and the other one is the warden. So once, suppose a student has to apply for a leave. So that student has to fill in a form. That is the leave application form. Once he or she submits that application form, that notification is sent to the faculty advisor. Once the faculty advisor approves that particular leave, that notification goes to the warden of the hostel. And once that warden approves that particular leave, then that leave is considered to be approved. So both the student and the authority have to sign up using the same portal. So initially when we don't have an account you'll have to sign up so as you can see there are two kinds of accounts a student account for which uh, the login form is as you can see and the other one is for the authority which is this sign up form so here i already have a few accounts made one thing is to be noted that there have to be uh, these status that who will be the faculty advisor of which year and which batch and which uh, department, which program, that has to be filled in by the administrator. So that is done by the uh, through the admin panel. Although the faculty as well as the warden would also sign up using the same portal. So we already have a faculty advisor for 2016 batch and uh, an account for the warden of girls hostel say. So what we'll be doing is to keep things simple, we'll sign up as a student. We'll sign up for a student account. So let's sign up. Okay, so my username would be okay. roll number, year of joining. I belong to the BTEC department, BTEC program, and my branch is CSC file, gender, girls hostel, my name, okay, password, say, okay, so finally we sign up, okay, so our account has been created, let's go to the login page now. And let's fill in the details and sign up. Sign in. Okay. So as you can see, this is the dashboard. Uh, we have three options. We can apply for a leave. We can see the pending leaves and we can see the past leaves. So next is the profile section. Here is my profile. Now once we sign up we need to fill in some basic details so i am currently in third year of my program i reside in block say yes b and oh, say 301 room number and i update my profile so as you can see your profile has been saved now i my details are all ready like uh, in case somebody wants to change the password so this is the place that uh, you can use to change the password okay so now let's go and apply for a leave so maybe i have to go home for winter break say kanpur my native place okay and i'll be leaving on say 6th of december and i'll be coming back on okay say 1st of january okay we are submitting now so as you can see, these are the details which have been, uh, it's, it's a form that has been created. Now we go back 
and now you can see that it becomes a pending leave so currently the status of this leave is pending now we have two options we can either edit suppose we have filled in something wrong by mistake so we can edit or we can simply see the details of the leave okay. so now the next thing that has to happen is this particular leave should uh, this notification should go out to the faculty advisor so the faculty advisor for my batch is Dr. Saurav so his username is Saurav okay and uh, let's log in to the faculty advisor account Okay. Now, as you can see, the dashboard for the authority, there's no leave application form. And uh, they have some different fields for uh, their profile. So, okay, he's the faculty advisor. Okay, so now we'll go and see what are the pending leaves. So, pending approvals. He has this one uh, leave that he has to review and it's from Arundhati. So you remember the student name was Arundhati and she sent this uh, leave application and Kanpur, winter break and everything. So it's pending for now. This faculty advisor can go and uh, see the details. Now he'll choose one of the two options, either approve it or reject as per the details. So uh, let's say he chooses to approve. So he chose the option approve and saved. Now, when you go back to pending approvals, see there are no pending leaves. Okay. So now this goes to his past approval and the status of the leave has changed. It has been approved by faculty. Now the next step is to get it approved by the warden. So let's log out from this account and now let's log in to the warden's account so uh, that was that uh, this request should go to the warden of girls hostel so if we log into the uh, account of girls hostel warden and uh, she is say dr richa so these are this is her profile and let's quickly go to her dashboard and check out her pending approvals so see now this leave oh sorry this leave which has already been approved by faculty has come to the warden of the girls hostel and see this is the same leave from Arundhati and the same details winter break Kanpur and everything so now she will go to her details and she also has two options so for now <laughs> let's approve her uh, uh, leave so okay let's see now when we go back to her pending approvals again there are no pending leaves so this should ideally go to her past leaves. So as you can see, it has come to her past leaves. Now the leave status is approved by warden. Now let's see what has, uh, what changes have taken place in the student account. So let's log out. Going back to Arundhati's account. Okay, login. Her pending leaves, no pending leaves. Let's see what whether her leave has been approved or not. Go into past leaves and see. Her leave has also been approved by warden. That means her leave has been approved. So okay, yeah, now she can quickly, uh, she can freely go to her home for her winter break. So that's all so this definitely uh, reduces the paperwork and simplifies the process a lot and saves a lot of time so it's always good to log out of any account so let's log out so thank you for watching